I'm Armored Chocobo, and most of the time I stream now, but this is recorded. Didn't think that Crossing Souls would be the last of the recorded stuff, did you? Well, I guess maybe some of you did. This is Ori, The Will of the Wisps, and it is a sequel to the first story, Ori in the Blind Forest. I'm doing this one instead of the first one, because the first one kind of annoys me. And it's a lot of the same stuff. I like this one because it's a bit more like Hollow Knight. It's a lot more open, where Ori in the Blind Forest is kind of linear. You had to go to one place before you go to another place. You go to another place. This one is a little bit more open. The thing is, though, you don't really... If you don't know Ori... You wouldn't get the story of the first game, but I think it's not really all that important. Especially when uh, I start the game. It's going to be about a 10 minute intro where it kind of lays everything out for you already. So yeah, there's that. I got 75%. I'm not 100%ing this game. There's a lot of collectibles. There's a lot of stuff. There's only, like, one quest I didn't do here that I might do on the Let's Play. But other than that, you could change this. I think you could change this difficulty at any time. I believe I went on normal mode. If you need help, you could always change it to easy mode. It's one of those games. Also, the, uh, the soundtrack is amazing. And the game looks really good. So why not cover it? Especially if it's a Metroidvania, which is kind of my thing. This little dude is Ori. He's kind of like a forest spirit. Little goat rabbit um, monkey? Goat rabbit monkey. He's an Ori. That is Gumo. You meet him in the first game. He's kind of our best friend now, and uh, he, he's good with building things. Kind of an engineer. And that's a narrator. We got a nice little setup here out in the forest, after he saved it and all. And at the very end of the game, we had an egg. It's not an egg anymore. Welcome to the family, Koo! You might be wondering where we got Koo from. Well... That'll be explained kind of shortly. Just doing a little bit of renovations. Oh, and uh, the, the big lady there, the black and uh, the shy guy looking lady. That's that's Ori's mom. Adopted mom, of course. No relation. You know, this is a game about family. Ori, I think Gumo just kidnapped Koo. Ori, I think I think Gumo is trying to cook Koo. He's trying he's trying to coo cook her. He's performing a betrayal. I can't go up that way. We can kick fruit. We could stomp on fruit anyway. Let's see if we could get it out the door. Ori, what did I tell you about playing with your food? Ah, it's flying lesson day. It's a new record! Remember people, your first try is always a new record. Remember that. We 
We're gonna need the Timon and Pooba this situation. We have a carnivore in the family. Aye, a whole year has gone by with Koo? Just about, right? She don't want to practice anymore. She wants to do the real thing. Though, uh, I'm noticing something's odd about her wing. Wing ain't looking right. Maybe it has something to do with a, a past event. Or maybe she just built different. I do like that even though they have this prologue, they do give you this little opportunity to like control Ori just a little bit. You know, at least pretend it's a video game for a little while instead of a movie, which it currently is. Just looked at the timer. It's already seven minutes into this intro. And we've been doing so little for the Wisps. They have so many wills. But we need to fix the coup situation. I actually had to hit a button there. I actually had to hit a button to continue to prologue. I thought something was going to happen. Yeah, in Ori 1, the blind forest. The big bad guy was an owl. And she did some things. She did not like the tree. She did not like the light. And things happened. And that's how we ended up with Ku. It's introducing us to a few puzzle elements. Like vine switches. And wall jumping. Not much wall climbing yet, though. Ori, why do you keep on keeping those things around? That's the feather from the bad guy. The bad girl. She did a thing. I won't spoil it. Go play Blind Forest yourself. I think you can get both games for like uh, 20 or 30 bucks. But we got a parachute. Hey, cool! look what I can do. Maybe you could try it. You know, just a little gift from Mom. Let's have Gumo look at it. He knows the engineering stuff. Hey, wake up. Fix this. That's just how this family is. They go to Gumo. Fix this. I like the animations, especially on Gumo, because he's a giant beach ball with limbs. He fixed her! Koo can double jump and glide, but not so much glide. How do, how do we hit the button for glide? Ooh. 
There we go, there's the glide. Uh, right shoulder. And they're dead. Man, this was a short game. The, the Wisps, the only will they had was, hey, who gets to fly? We did it. Shortest game in history. The Wisps are like, my will is off. You should be getting too fancy. Granted, that is held on by one string. Okay, maybe a couple. This is just a prototype, Koo. I don't think we're supposed to be going this far. We're leaving the world map of the first game. Let's, let's harass the terror the terror geese. Look at those things. They could cut Texas in half of those beaks. Uh, Aku, I, I usually when thunderstorms happen, a new video game starts. I don't like this. It's feeling very sequel in here. No, Link crashed his raft. He's on the Dream Island now. I think I saw a windfish. Well, I told you. Duck and roll. And or he's dead. Darn, it's not that easy, is it? It's not that easy. You ain't getting out of a sequel that easy. Also, Ori is a master of falling. That's That was a big theme in the first game, is Ori falls very far distance, gets concussed, but then they're perfectly fine. Oh, a little bit of stutter there. I don't like the sound of that, but see, Ori's just fine. Just has a very minor case of severe brain damage. Well, welcome to the game. Welcome to the first area of the game. We have no weapon. In the first game, you would have like a little Navi that floats behind you and could shoot pellets. These are healing items. They're all over the place. I see something over here. I'm also noticing a bit more stutter, but I think that's because I'm on uh, my not SSD. It's on the other one, so it takes a little time to load areas. I'm okay. It's just the game telling me I'm going in the right direction. Can't do anything with that. Let me, um... I have the frame rate limited to 60. Maybe I turn off of this. Maybe that might be causing some of the problems there. Looks like there's some collectibles. But I can't get to them. Except for that one. In the previous game, there's like a level up system. You collect experience points. You get big points. You could buy skills with it. This game is a bit more transactionary. And that's the currency we just picked up that light balls. 
Somebody was mapping out this area. The big thing about Ori is a set drop stone. It is very beautiful for a terrible stormy landscape. You got stuff going on in the background. There's plants moving. You got those things. Ah, good. I could burn things now. Yes, violence! That's what Ori needed, is violence. Also, fire. They give us a fire weapon in, like, the first 20 minutes? Ori uses energy for some skills. That's the energy pickup. I usually use melee weapons, and not really energy, unless I'm doing mobility stuff, which this game does a lot. I can't burn that. I can burn this. I just let that burn on its own time. I want to check out what's over here. Oh, right, yeah. This is a common Ori element. You need to find keystones to open doors. So you could proceed. I exploded that just because, but sometimes there's health in those. I don't really need it. Don't touch spikes! Oh, hello! What are you now? Not a Moki, clearly. Not even from Niwen, are you? I visited most lands near and far, I haven't seen your kind. Come from across the water, maybe? <laughs> no, whatever you are, don't talk. A wanderer in these parts, the better parts at least. I've taken shelter from that foot storm myself, but if you're about going further, you'll have to get through that spirit gate over there. Oh, he gets. two keystones. It's a tutorial. I happen to have one in my bag, but there's another in the cave to the west. But acquiring it is a job for someone more nimble than myself. What do you say? Well, you are a Rito. And, uh, you're kind of more like Pen. He's, he's just a shoe bail Pen. Ever notice that in Tears of the Kingdom? All the Rito look like falcons and such. Except for Pen. Pen's a pelican. He even has webbed talons. Ah, that's what I forgot. Fire, right. Shouldn't be using that more often. Open up. There was money in there. Again, don't land in spikes. You can send enemies into spikes, though, and that's really fun to do. Get something that commits not back on enemies. Oh no, my first damage. There was a difficulty setting in the first story where uh, you could opt to have one life, period, and you have to start the whole game over again. That I call sadism mode. Because that game could get really hard with the platforming. Are you looking at me like that? You're looking awfully snooty for someone in fire distance. That was introducing us to battle rooms. You get locked inside, you gotta kill the enemies. This, this game is a lot more combat oriented. Also, we lost our torch. Donkey Kong called. He wants his going up vines thing back. Huh. I wonder what that is over there. Can you see that off to the left? I kind of want that, but I feel like I need an ability for it. Now I can't kill you. I lost my torch. Yep, that's the keystone. Too nimble. Too nimble for him, he says. And all he has to do is fly. He is a bird, after all. I'm sure he could do flying Rito stuff. 
Yeah, we, we can't go up there. We need something. We, we need some kind of double jump ability. Or some kind of air dash. That one particular Grackle is back. Could have sworn his parents cut him off, but he, he's making noise. That's what you hear in the background. Uh, so how do I up from here? Oh, right. I have to go past that. Uh, I have to go past that slime. I played this game exactly once before. I died in a few places. I'm not perfect at it. I don't remember a lot of the, st the, the stuff map-wise. So that means I might get lost once in a while. It's actually more like a snake now that I look at it. It's like a chubby snake. It's like a snake slime. A slime. Hey, look what I can do. Look what I can do. Can you do that? Eh? Ah, hey, you're back. Is that a keystone I see? Here's one more for your trouble. I'm never a bird of my word, huh? Now I can continue my wanderings through Niwen's last wonders before we lose any more. And you can carry on with uh, whatever it is you're doing. Good luck. You'll never meet that guy again, clearly. First mission complete. Get the keystone. I wonder what that is in there. I would like to get that. It feels like I have to backtrack for it. I'm not even sure what what destroys that. Uh, hi, buddy. There's something spooky over there. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. You can jump through the door before it's ready to let you in. By the way, Ori is water soluble and you gain abilities to not be water soluble in the first game, but he can still drown. So at least they keep the continuity going. He used to be injured by water just straight up. Actually had to unlock an ability for that. You actually had to farm experience to not be injured by water. Nope, it's relevant now. I wish I had a torch. I wish I had a torch. I was about to say, a convenient scripting can't hurt me. No, it can hurt you. No. I got a torch now. Stay back. Oh, and uh, that's how easily Ori can die. Dun got bit. So yeah, th that box has a that boss has a hitbox, even though it looks like it's a scripted mechanic. You missed. Try another. I wish I had some kind of dodge roll. It's not doing too much damage though. It's just that being inside of him is like an instant kill. That's what happened last time. Back! And I broke my weapon. Oh no, it's Breath of the Wild weapon durability. I can't go forward. I gotta go back. Wow, I really messed up this place. I'm a menace! Everything's on fire now! Ori, why did you do this? I feel like I missed things. Oh, there's so much stuff here. I need keystones. Now they really drop you right into that first dungeon, huh? 
help Coot and get eaten by whatever the hell that thing was. Cause this story would be over real quick. That's an ominous looking tree. This is how Ori gets new powers. He explodes a little bit. Okay, here you are on another world map. I think we fell into a sequel. Well, it doesn't seem that far away. How do they know that's where Koo went, though? I come in peace. And I like the others. The Shrieker, the Howler. And you shines an ancient light. The tree remembered. It knowed. It glowed. It shared its memory with you. It remembers swords. Oh boy, a weapon that can't break. I use the light. We want to see. So, uh, what was the... Oh, yes. I think it's the shoulder button. No. Uh, I just have to remember the... The button that brings up the inventory. Oh, hold the left trigger. Thank you. I like it on the X. Well, we got our... We got our Master Sword. We got our Whip. We got our nail. It's basically the nail. It even has a down stab like the nail. This is going to be the weapon you're going to see the most used. It even has an uppercut. Which is great for knocking things off cliffs. I love doing it for that. Especially into spikes. We've got some spikes here. Yep. And go over there. I want to knock you into the spike. Someone's going into the spike today. Alright, fine. I want to get to a save point before I call it for the first video. I love introducing myself with an uppercut. Does it give him a chance to act? That is... these are equipable abilities. They're a little bit like the badges or whatever they are in Ori. This will suck in things for me. Very useful. There are so many of these things. I only use a few because a few of them have like downsides. Like take more damage but you can deal more damage. I want to pogo on somebody. You can do that too, but he can only do it once. The light listens to you. You must be a spirit after all. Me Moki thought the spirits have gone from you and gone away. So long, spirits. You seek someone. We know a finder. Great one. Great and mossy. Go to the guardian of the marsh. Quolock will help you find your way. So we gotta go find Sarasola. Got it. Also, they're called Moki. And I know somebody will be excited about the Moki. But they're, they're spelled M-O-K-I, not M-O-K-Y. This is the map. It's a fairly big map. It's a fairly big map. In fact, it's not even showing us all the map right now. Boing. Boing. 
Yeah, you can only do it once. These guys! They jump in the air and they have a shockwave. You can't launch them easily. I forget where the first save point is in this place. Oh, right, I don't have a single keystone. Mainly because I can't get up there yet. So I have to head up from here somehow. Okay, bird, you get it. You want to eat? Eat your own food. Rackles are sure are noisy. There we go. And the spike. Yes, there you go. No combat roll just yet, though. To avoid enemy attacks. Which means you gotta, like, run away or jump over them. You don't shoot down immediately if you're going to bounce on an enemy with the down stab. Can't do that. I think that could have been a sequence break if I was just a pixel closer. All these puzzle elements I can't really do anything with. I can't even get through that. It's very convenient that all these enemies drop like a health pickup when you kill them. Ah, good. That looks like a save point. Hey, this is a save point. The light from the whales runs all through new one. It joins, it heals. So this is where we could save. Of course, most of the, the, the most of the prologue ate up most of the time, but hey, we got a weapon. We got a save point. We got a sequel. We got a missing coup. And uh, somebody's gonna get lightsabered if they miss with that coup. Let me tell you what. Ori is not playing around anymore. Tired of shenanigans. Alright, I'll see you next time on Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Good night, folks.